Hi, I'm Sidra, artist and founder of Wriggling Worm Studio. I want to speak about seascapes today. My version of seascapes when I paint, when I paint them. Uh, how do how do I see a seascape, or what what do I see in an in an ocean or a lake or anything that uh, depicts water? To me, uh, I feel anyone who is naturally drawn to a seascape or any any water body is a person who has uh, emotions that run really deep, who are really intense uh, in with their feelings. Because I feel I'm like that, so I don't know uh, if that is true or no. But I really feel because the depth of the ocean has many secrets, and everything is below the surface of the ocean. So those who are naturally drawn towards the seascape, uh, besides being attracted to the various forms and various uh, phases of the ocean and the different colors, are uh, more uh, intrigued by the by the, uh, the the deeper meaning that lies below the surface and how deep does it run that is how the subconscious sees it and uh, that is how i see it as well in a seascape what are the how how does a person get attracted to a different kind of a sea, seascape there are many many factors that affect uh, uh, a painting of an ocean to me not only color to me different phases that the waves of an ocean go through is what attracts me to paint a seascape the colors can be so intense as well sometimes the reflection of the sunrise or the sunset that uh, an ocean shows is uh, a million shades in just one moment uh, that itself pulls a person to it. Uh, the sh there are so many shades of a stormy sea. There are so many shades uh, of a stormy sky that reflects on the ocean. I have painted a seascape in many different forms, in many using many different colors. I have a, a, a seascape that is painted in the night with just the moon rising. It is peaceful, it is calm and it's just a moon rising. I have painted a seascape of a beautiful blue of the sunset. So the reflection of the sun are just on the tips of the wave. So it looks like the fire is dancing with water. That's what I felt when I was painting it. Uh, I have painted a stormy sky um, at sunset. So I paint uh, anything that I am going through a particular phase in life. When I painted seascapes with all these various stages, that means at that time I was going through something that is reflecting in my painting. Um, to me, painting anything is a journey. So I start with something, a particular emotion or a particular uh, uh, chaos or whatever it is that I'm going through in, in that moment. And then while painting, I, along with the progress of the painting, I reason it out and I come to a stage where I feel that I've reached a certain sense of calm and I've come about a certain uh, peace with the situation or with uh, the circumstance. And that's when I feel that my painting is over and I can sign off on it. I have painted so many other subjects as well, other than seascapes. I paint landscapes, I paint... Uh, uh, spiritual art, I paint, fant paint fantasy, uh, I can paint anything. It all depends on the phase of my life, it all depends on what has attracted me in that phase of life and I just want to put it on the canvas and that's how my journey begins and ends with a painting. Um, if you'd like to know more about art, my art or any art, send me an email, I would love to discuss art with you or share the knowledge that I have collected over decades of my journey with art. Um, so send me an email and I'll respond to it. Thank you so much.